Hi everyone. Um, I just tried something out I decided to share with you today. It is a Saturday. I'm marking another makeup free day. <laughs> if you want to learn more about that, you can go to my blog at www.lauriethayer.com. Um, so actually, I recently started doing somewhat more difficult chores for my two teenage boys on the weekends. You know, it's a weekend, they don't have school, they should have a little bit more time to get things done. And I'm also trying to use chores that need to be done, you know, make it a little more real world for them. What are the what are the things that are obvious and that really need to be done and what can they do? So it's a fall day and the chores, one of the options, and I, I had three options, there's two of them, so they get to two boys. And there's three options for today. I'll probably add something else for tomorrow. And Two of the three options were to fill a large garbage bag of wheat or of leaves, because we have leaves falling off the trees, right? So one of my stepsons really likes the simplest, easiest things to do and often challenges anything else. And and my husband, their father, often he gets to be uh, the fun of dealing with it. <laughs> With, with those kind of details, because, you know, as his father, he chooses to do that. Anyway, so I, I picked these as the tasks that they should do, um, raking the leaves, and I could hear that this younger son was really not happy with it. He gets easily frustrated. Um, he's high-functioning autistic. He gets easily frustrated. He doesn't know what to do. He just wants to do something simple and get it over with and get back to doing what he wants to do. And I could just hear him... Very, he sees being very loud uh, downstairs and outside. And I've been thinking a lot lately about trying to work with the boys doing EFT on them, which is tapping. And if you haven't um, heard me talk about this before, I will put a link in the comments below um, so you can learn a little bit more about it. I've been doing it more myself regularly, and I, I just love tapping. I've known about it for a couple of years. Anyway, so I knew there was this concept that you could do surrogate tapping, which means that you could tap for somebody else. Now, generally, you know, you want to limit how you're doing this, because are, are you doing it in your best interest or in theirs? Um, but in this case, he was kind of already in a really upset spiral, and I know for him it doesn't work if I were to pull him out of what he was doing right now. That can cause even more upset. So I looked, I did a quick Google search on surrogate tapping and what you do, and it, it was really very simple. Um, I'll link to the page um, in the blog post that I do with this, with this video. Um, and basically I could do I am, as in I'm acting as this person, kind of connecting up with them, or you could do, you know, as my youngest stepson, you know, using his name, blah, 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 and do the tapping like that. So I, I actually started out kind of doing it as him, and in the middle of it, I just switched to kind of being in his place as I and what I felt. And um, so I did around uh, some tapping on that, you know, as I'm just really mad at having to do these chores. I'm so angry. Why do I have to do this? Can I just go back to what I want to do? And I, I used those kind of the, the things that he was thinking to tap on and his frustrations. What came to me as what are his major frustrations? And I did uh, quite a few rounds on it, um, and then I could notice I wasn't really hearing his voice anymore downstairs. And it seemed like he was calmer, you know, and, and so then I finally, as I noticed that, and I didn't feel as upset kind of tuning into him, then I did, you know, a positive round two, maybe this isn't so bad, maybe it'll be over quickly, maybe if I just stop complaining and get to work, you know, it won't take that long. It doesn't have to take that long. This can be quick and easy kind of thing. Because he gets very stuck on, everything's very hard. So again, whatever just came to me, that's why um, EFT tapping is so easy. Um, and then, you know, I just kind of stopped and I listened to what I could hear. And, and I went downstairs and watched and I could see him out there, like, using his hands to put leaves into the, you know, the trash can. And he seemed to have done a lot better. So actually I feel like it, it might have helped diffuse this situation. So I just wanted to do a quick video and let you know that, you know, there are tools like this out there that you can use, that you can try for yourself and for your kids maybe. But, you know, teaching them to use the tools ultimately 
is going to be the most effective, and that's something I, I still need to do. I've done some tapping with the kids, but I've not been regular at it. But it's a lot about, you know, parenting is a lot about teaching kids how to do these things for themselves. And I'm still working on that, but I wanted to teach you a little bit, um, introduce you to the concept of surrogate tapping today. Have a great day. Bye.